but I am looking to increase that even more. Hello, welcome back to Tutor to Drive. And today we've ditched the longboard. We're back with the Seat Leon Cupra. Um, today I'm gonna go through modifications. Basically, should I modify my car? At the moment, the Jag is still a little out, still a little bit out of budget. So, do I decide to get a new, get a car in the middle, or do I modify the car? Is basically the consideration I'm looking at, and I'm unsure on which way to go about that. So, this is my current car, and the modifications I'm thinking of are. So, the first modification for me, and not really focusing on the exhaust for now, is the diffuser. Um, you can't really see this one at all. It is there, but it's not the best view of it. Um, so that's one of the first things I would be looking to change would be the rear diffuser. I've seen a couple online that I quite like, um, and they're not too expensive, and it does transform the rear end of the car, in my personal opinion. So that's one of the options I am looking at. The next is, it's no real secret that my alloys are pretty battered. I'll probably get into that in the things I don't like about my car, but the alloys is another thing. Um, looking to possibly change those um, and I've seen a couple online that I quite like uh, under a thousand pounds for the full set which isn't too bad I don't think I suppose the most obvious change that I'd be looking to do would be an exhaust now the 280 stock doesn't actually give any noise for the sort of power it gives off um, so my first thing I changed was I did a, a middle resonator de delete um, and I got a little bit of pops from it and it is much louder than previous but I am looking to increase that even more so I've been looking at a Scorpion exhaust um, now I do like the ability that sometimes it's quiet and sometimes it's loud so I'm not sure I'd want it always loud so a resonated probably would be better than a non resonator for me the next is a rear uh, sorry a front splitter um, so my car doesn't have any aesthetic modifications I suppose it is completely stock so I have teased with getting a front splitter. Lots of people get these changed, I've seen on the group chat. Um, I think some of the owners said that you can get them done for 200 pounds, or you can get to Alibaba and get it for 35 quid. So yeah, I am tempted. So at the moment they're just static in terms of this indicator. You can get sort of like a dynamic indicator um, and apparently they're quite easy to fit. So that is something I would change. It's a minor change, but it is something I'd be interested to do. The lights are something I'm quite happy with. Um, I mean, they're all LEDs in terms of lights. The only one I'm not happy with is the reversing light. It's like yellow rather than the white LED you get on sort of the modern cars. Now, this might be a silly one to change because obviously I never see it, but for me, it'd be something that really make the car look better. It just makes the car look more modern. Um, it is now, you know, six years old. It does bring it sort of a bit further into the uh, modernization um, of the new current cars. So those are the modifications that I'm sort of looking at doing aesthetically. I am also interested in tuning the car, but this is something that's a little bit more difficult because I've heard on the manual, which I have, the manual gearbox, I have to get a new clutch. The clutch I've been quoted for by, I think it was, was £1,750 for a clutch fitted and a stage one from them. So, which gave it an extra, I think it brought it up to 340 brake. For me, that seems quite expensive. Um, and the first thing as well, this car I bought for £14,995 at 30,000 miles. I am now at 65,000 miles and I've had someone offer me £10,000 for the car. I don't know, I, I like the car a lot and I wouldn't mind doing modifications aesthetically to bring it up to sort of, you know, the carbon splitter, the new alloys and things like that. They're not gonna increase the value of the car but at the same time, it's about an 1100 pound modification probably all the way around. Whereas if I'm replacing the clutch and things like that, it's a lot of money to invest in a car that isn't worth that much in the first place. The modifications will cost more. And personally, I'm not really that keen on the modifications. For me, it's, I could almost buy either like a previous new shape, Audi RS3 or an S3, which would, give me the power um, so it's like is it the difference of the modifications I could afford in S3 is it worth me spending the money to modify a Cupra when I would get more modification from a Audi S3 I've just seen a lady walk her dog on a lead past a car and the lead scraped down the whole side of this car it's nothing nice but if that was my car I'd be fuming so those are sort of the things I'm looking at doing or possibly looking at doing to modify in the car um, if I was to keep it. 
So basically, here's the decision. Do I modify the car with what I've said, so like a front splitter, rear diffuser, new exhaust, dynamic indicators, or do I just put that money, sell this for, let's say, 10,000, put, let's say, that all that costs... I mean, that's before the tune. That's the biggest thing. The tune is two grand, pretty much, according to the people I've got a quote off at the moment. So let's say the total modifications would be three and a half, and I think, to be honest, it's more likely going to be four. Would I be worth putting four grand towards an Audi S3 plus selling this car, or my best keeping with the Cooper and doing the modifications? But it's, in my eyes, it's four grand down the drain in some sense because I'm not ever going to get that money back. I could try reselling the parts, I suppose, but it's not going to increase the value. You know, I might get an extra 500 quid for the car, um, but we're not talking, you know, it's now going to be worth 14,000 um, because that's not how it works. So for me, that's why I'm undecided whether or not I want to do it. Um, but I have, have definitely teased with the idea, especially with an exhaust and some of the aesthetics. The tuning, I might leave. Um, so let me know, should I tune the car? Should I put more aesthetics on the car? So change it in terms of the splitter, the diffuser, the alloys. A couple of choices there. Some things that I'm looking at doing. Um, I'll show you some videos of the exhaust anyway at the moment while it's sort of with the mid-res delete. Inside cabin is great. I don't think there's any issues with that. I've been on phone calls before with friends and, you know, hands free in the car. And I've had it in coupe mode and floored it. And they're like, is that your car? So they've been pretty impressed by that. Um, I think it is pumped through the speakers a little bit. But yeah, it's definitely a good sound inside the car. Thank you very much for watching this video. Just a quick one, really, on some of the modifications that I've been looking at for my Cupra. Um, and hopefully, um, either I get it done, I sort out a new car, or you're stuck with another long more video that nobody watched and nobody liked. See you in the next one. Thanks very much. I appreciate the support and all the rest of it, and I'll see you soon.